So we're going to talk about websites now. There are hundreds of people out there who suffer with IBS, who are on FODMAP, who have valuable websites that you guys should check out and have a look at and spend some time reading. A lot of these are around kind of recipes and living with IBS and stuff like that, but they are really, really good quality. And um, some of the ones that I have followed over the past year or two, I've become quite good friends with actually on social media. So I'm gonna link those up again for you so that you've got access to those websites and, uh, and we can have a look at those now. Okay guys, we're going to talk now about some useful website resources. Now these are things that I've spent the last couple of years trying to find, so I'm trying to bring that all together for you in a quick and easy format. And you can see that just by my browser window I've got a number of websites up here that I'm going to run you through. So I'm going to try and do this in as quick a way as possible and I'll close them down as we go through. Just to start off and uh, for a bit of a giggle, you can actually see here that the Daily Mail wrote an article uh, which included myself, if I scroll down here, um, a couple of years ago actually, probably now it was, and there you go, that's me, and on my sort of story with IBS, so if you want to go and check that out, then just type in Daily Mail and Alistair Banks and FODMAP, and I'm sure you'll find it. But let's go into the other websites that I want to show you now. So good old Amazon first, and I mentioned this before, but if you just type in FODMAP into Amazon, then you're going to find loads of great quality books in there which are worth buying. So the couple that I mentioned, Emma Hatcher's and Dr. Sue Shepard's, but there are hundreds of other. In fact, Dr. Sue Shepard's got two books there. You can see I've got both of those, and you can go down, and there are more and more books on the FODMAP diet. So Amazon is a, a great go-to for anything FODMAP related. Moving across then, so Monash University's own website. This was a, an important website for me when in the early days just because it told me or taught me a lot about what Monash had come up with and the university itself and the FODMAP diet and this these are the guys that actually created it. So you can again guarantee that this is uh, important information when it comes to FODMAP and learning about it and you can go off to all of their social media links as well so if you want to learn a bit more on their Facebook page or so on and so forth then you can do. So that's the Monash University's main page. Dr Sue Shepard who I've mentioned a couple of times who came up with this diet has her own website which is this one shepherdworks.com.au so Australian and she has a blog you can buy the books from there and it tells you a little bit more about uh, Sue Shepherd here and yeah that's just her personal website so something you might want to have a look at the next website I want to have a quick look at is the King's College London website, the, the FODMAP part of it. So I mentioned before that Monash came up with this diet and King's College have been the kind of UK establishment that has uh, really taken it under its wing and become the go-to in the UK for, for this diet. So you can find dietitians and you can look up much more information from a UK perspective when it comes to FODMAP. So King's College London is kcl.ac. UK. The Monash University also have an Instagram page with some quite good recipes on there, so I say quite good, very good recipes on there actually, and um, you, they try and update this every single day, so if you want some inspiration then that's worth checking out. So that's Instagram forward slash Monash, M-O-N-A-S-H-F-O-D-M-A-P. Monash also have a Pinterest page if you're interested or use Pinterest a lot where you could have where they have boards set up for low FODMAP food, information about the diet and then they break it into breakfast, snacks, healthy tips etc. So you can find that on Pinterest and if you search for Monash FODMAP you will find them. If you're interested in FODMAP diet and what it is and talking, uh, getting some opinions from people in the industry who are kind of credible, then you might want to check out some articles. So this is one that I found from BBC Good Food, so bbcgoodfood.com, and it's in their how-to section. So search upon the low FODMAP diet and you will no doubt find this. And this is just an article which is a little bit about the low FODMAP diet, what it is, what are FODMAPs, how to follow the diet, some some useful cut out there for, uh, for high FODMAP foods, 
and a bit about from an expert as well. So it's always good when you're starting off something new to go and look at what the industry is talking about and, and credible sources as well, just to make sure that you're not on some sort of fad diet. I'm just going to pick out a couple more websites here that are quite handy. So we've got the ibsnetwork.org and they have a, a whole section on FODMAP. So again, you know that this is very relating or very relatable when it comes to IBS. If they're talking about it, then you know that it's a good thing. And there is also a good website called FODMAP Life, which is by a lady called Colleen. And she has also has a great Facebook page, which is followed by many many thousands 61,000 people follow that page where she, again she talks about recipes and, and living life with FODMAP as well so some very handy uh, tips on those websites and that Facebook page